Hello friends, welcome. So in today's lecture, we'll be learning how to do the entries in case where we are purchasing from unregistered dealers. So in this lecture, our objective is to record the purchase from URD that is unregistered dealer, how we can create the liability towards payments, how we can make the payment and at last how we can increase the input tax credit. So for that, what we need to do, first of all, go to F11. Then from taxation features, select GST to yes. And after that, you can see here, enable tax liability on reverse charge that is purchased from unregistered dealers. So keep this option, yes. And when you keep this option, yes, select control A and accept the screen. So this is what you need to change in your features. Now, the second step is to create your ledger for URD purchases. Now, I'm creating a ledger for unregistered purchases under purchase account. I'll create this under my purchase account. Now, is the GST applicable? Yes. Do you want to set all the GST details? No. Select your goods and accept the detail. Now, the next you have is you have already created IGST, RCM ledger and CGST, SGST, RCM ledger. So we need not to create that again. The next thing that we need to do is we can create a new stock item or we can do the entries from the last one as well. So we'll create a voucher now a purchase voucher purchased from unregistered dealer. So in this case, I'm giving here the supplier invoice number. Now select here your party. I'm creating here a party as Prashant Agarwal under sundry creditors. Now maintain bill by bill to yes. Then you have to select here. It's a regular, but it is unregistered so what you will do is you will select here unregistered set or altered gst details yes select here unregistered dealer and accept the screen now select it by pressing control a select here your purchase ledger that is unregistered purchases select here the name of the item let's say i am purchasing asian paints so i am purchasing 100 numbers at the rate of 870 per box so, okay, per number. So, after that, after doing this entry, what we'll do is we'll just accept the screen. Why we accept the screen? Before accepting it, we'll first of all check the details of our tax analysis. So, press Control I, Asian Paints, and go to GST Tax Analysis. GST tax analysis and here when you press alt F1 it will show you CGST and SGST thereon. So this will this is shown but for unregistered in case of unregistered purchases we will not post any kind of entry over here and just accept the screen. Uh, I think I had escaped it. I am checking my day book. Our entry has been posted or not. So no. I'm posting it again. I'm giving the supplier invoice number, date, Prashant Agawal. Control A, again Control A, select your purchase ledger, select the item name, then the quantity, 100 numbers at the rate of 760 number per number, end of the list and just accept the screen. Is this clear to you? Correct? Now, just go to GSTR2. For purchases, we need to look at GST reports, GSTR2, display more reports, go to GSTR reports, under statutory, go to GSTR2, change the period, I'm changing it, I'm entering 1st April 2020 till 31st March 2021. Now, here you can see reverse charge liability to be booked. Till now, I have not booked my reverse charge liability. See, why we had not posted the tax over there? Because 
this tax liability is under reverse charge mechanism that is why i had not shown over there cgst or sgst as this is applicable on the same but it comes under reverse charge mechanism so for reverse charge mechanism the liability will get on another person so that's why i had not shown over there cgst and sgst amount and that is why it is shown in the gstr2 that reverse charge liability to be booked that is you have to book now urd purchases and here is your detail is this clear cgst is 12% that is your 9120 on 76000 and same sgst 12% on 76000 that is 9120 so is this clear is this clear but remember this amount belongs to my one old voucher and this amount belongs to my current voucher so if i want to see that i can see my voucher as well it's 8220 on 68500 of my current voucher 8220 again on 6500 at the rate of 12% cgst and sgst this was my one old old voucher and this was my balance liability that i need to be booked is this clear is this clear till now so now the next step is to increase the liability and input tax credit as well if we in increase our liability we have to increase our input tax credit for our purchases as well from unregistered dealers see in the last entries in the last lectures we had done separate entries for both increasing of tax liability and for input tax credit as well but in this period of rcm i'll show you how to post both the entries in one voucher only so go back select here vouchers select journal voucher over here now you can see start adjustment press all j select gst nature of adjustment now you have to select increase of tax liability and input tax credit purchase from unregistered dealer now press f12 and select use credit and debit mode selected now you need to debit your cgst ledger rate is 12% the taxable amount of that particular voucher was 68500 that we had posted and your amount comes to 8220 is this correct now again debit sgst sgst you have to take now again 12% 68500 that comes to 8220 now you have to credit cgst rcm account 12% 68500 that comes to 8220 and again credit s gst amount 12% 68500 8220 there is some mistake while writing while creating the ledger name of sgst but you create sgst uh, by mistake i had written scgst c will not be there it's sgst all right so now press enter provide here the gst details that is type of input is on goods and accept the screen is this clear now again after this entry we will see the effect of this entry on our gst report so for gst report go back again to display more reports again statutory gst reports gstr2 change the period i am taking it 14 2020 till 31st march and here you can see reverse charge liability to be booked is now zero amount is this clear to you now the total liability was this and the itc in input tax credit is booked for this amount and balance is now nil is this clear how does this effect on gst reports now payment of tax towards reverse charge mechanism now the last that step that you have to do is the payment of tax under reverse charge mechanism what you need to do is for payment as you know we select always the payment voucher by pressing f5 now here again go to start adjustment 
and select the nature of payment is this your advance payment is this your payment under reverse charge refund of advance receipts it's payment under reverse charge when i select this then select here the account that is your hdfc bank account now in particular select your cgst rcm account and provide here the amount i am taking my total amount 9120 including the last vouchers as well last purchases as well and enter the amount and accept the screen is this clear give here the instrument number and date and accept it now this is done with your payment as well now go back and just display your reports of gst go to gst reports under statutory gstr2 press alt f2 for changing the period i am taking 1st april till 31st march 2021 and here you can see our under reverse charge purchases we had booked it and we had paid it as well now i hope this is clear to you and if you have any doubt then please do message me